Thank you, Saraswati, and dear Green friends, uh, very warm welcome to you on the behalf of the Finnish Greens to one of the green uh, capitals of the world, Helsinki. We Greens have something like over 20% of popular support in this city, and we are transforming the city as, as we speak into a more greener uh, city. And if we are thinking about how, as humanity, we can solve the problems we have faced today, it's clear that green cities hold the key to the future. Clearly, over half of the population of Europe already lives in cities, and a majority of the world population will live in cities in the near future. We have people who are in crowded accommodations. We have poverty. We have to solve that. We have the issue of integration. We have uh, diverse communities where we have to create jobs to different kinds of people, where we have to actually create new uh, kind of communities where people can participate where we can open up democracy, that cities are open to their uh, individuals, to their citizens, and not just to old bureaucratic ways of, of ruling. We also need to create smart cities. We need to create the kind of cities where we consume in a way that we are not uh, ruining the whole planet. A lot of the jobs or, or the, the food for green cities comes from the countryside in the future. But those, the key to that, the, also the ecological change in countryside happens actually in the cities. How we consume in the cities when it comes to energy, transportation, food, services, that is the key also to uh, sustainable livelihoods in the countryside. So basically we Finnish Greens always say that, that there is no conflict between uh, um, increasing the livelihoods and, and, uh, and progress in the countryside and doing it in the cities. Some parties who like to look at things in, old, in an old-fashioned way see a conflict there. I don't see any conflict because a, a sustainable countryside that is uh, viable by itself is also promoting sustainable li life in cities and vice versa. So basically what you are doing here today and tomorrow is thinking about all these things that how we as humanity, how we as communities, how we as green politicians can transform our cities into places where we have open democracy, open participation, that everybody is involved, that we have communities where we have jobs, livelihoods, where we are getting rid of poverty, where we have uh, decent housing, and where we have communities that are green, smart, there are new kinds of services, smart communications, uh, smart ways of uh, moving around, smart ways of creating jobs are creating also a better welfare, better livelihood and greener future for our individuals and the whole planet and our nature. One thing I would like to say also is as a, a former minister of the environment that cities are also places where most of uh, people's nature visits happen. We have to remember that we have to have also the actual green, but the one uh, that, that is holding the whole planet together, that is biodiversity. We have to also keep that intact in the other cities because the children, the elderly, everyone who lives in the cities get their nature experiences from the cities. So we also have to uh, take into account that when we accommodate more people in cities, how we can also create the green belts around it, sustainable and increase biodiversity also near cities. So dear friends, I think it's going to be an interesting uh, days ahead of you. And uh, as a party that is in Finland in opposition today, I would also like to spur all Greens into changing the uh, government policies in different countries. Uh, as a final note, I would like to say that we Greens in Finland have shown one thing in these elections this spring, that the Greens can actually win elections and get the best results ever in elections, in national parliamentary elections, also in economic bad times in recession. And that's precisely what we did in, in April. And uh, after that, now we are polling at about 12%, which is about the all-time high we've ever had. We have also shown that there is an, an alternative uh, future for reforms, for sustainability to a government which has chosen uh, right-wing policies when it comes to, uh, to 
to welfare state that they are actually uh, cutting a lot of the benefits, uh, cutting a lot of the support that we are giving into to making Finland in the, into a country where education is available to all, where everybody is taken care of. And at the same time, we also have a populist party in the government, which has unfortunately cut enough of its policies through to make Finland a more closed country, a country which is less uh, open to the world, a country which is less active in solving our uh, refugee crisis uh, in Europe and showing solidarity. But we as Greens have made it clear that we have an alternative in Finland and our popularity has grown and I think it puts a pressure onto the government to actually change its policies and this is precisely why we are needed today more than ever. Thank you and have a nice day in Finland.